Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. I have a really fun one today because I went on a bit of a binge fest with Flowdesk University, which if you don't know Flowdesk, the email marketing platform that I'm absolutely obsessed with, there's no denying it at this point, they have what's called Flowdesk University. It's like an online platform where they offer free courses, 100% free, all about email marketing and it's fantastic. I absolutely love it. I recently took the What is a Marketing Funnel course and it just gave me, I'm going to link it below for you, it gave me so much clarity around exactly what is a sales or marketing funnel and how that would actually look in my business because for so long I was like, I don't need one in my business. My business is not at a point where, you know, I need to be implementing sales funnels it just sent it just seemed like a high level thing that i wasn't quite ready for when in reality it's something i probably should have implemented the second i created my product so what i've done is gone through and created the assets behind the workflow but then i wanted to go through and build out the put it all together with you but before we dive into that quick thank you to Flowdesk for kindly sponsoring this video. If you guys want to give it a try, the link in the description will give you a 30 day free trial and 50% off your first year subscription, which is amazing. Now, before we dive into the fun stuff, let's quickly go over exactly what the stages of a sales funnel are. So what exactly is a sales funnel in this instance, because there's many ways to build out a sales funnel, but in the instance of what we are going to be looking at today, there are five stages in the sales funnel that I'm going to be showing you guys today. And stage one of that is all about awareness, which in terms of my business would refer to my YouTube channel. So anywhere that I'm putting out content to bring awareness to my brand. It could be a blog, it could be your social media platforms, anywhere that you are marketing online to bring awareness to your brand and build your audience. That's stage one. Stage two is all about interest. So once we have people aware of our brand, we want to keep them interested and interested enough to get them onto our email list. And the main way we're going to do this is with a freebie. So an opt-in freebie, a lead magnet, however you want to call it, something that's going to entice them enough to sign up for your email list. So stage three is consideration. In this instance, what we're going to be doing is like a mini email series that's going to firstly build trust with our audience. And it's also going to be highlighting their problems and offering solutions. That's what this entire funnel, middle of the funnel is about. And then stage four is conversion. So here is where we're coming to the, to the, end of that funnel and we're going to start pitching just a little bit and then a little bit more and then a little bit more and then we're going to hard pitch them with our digital product offer and stage five the final stage is loyalty this is where they've gone through they've hopefully fingers crossed purchased your product and then that you're going to either move them onto a nurture sequence or put them immediately into your what would be your weekly fortnightly newsletter so that's just a really quick overview of what the stages of a sales funnel are. Like I said, that marketing funnel course that I took with Flores University, I'm going to link to that below because it goes much more in depth into the entire process than what we're going to cover in this video. All right, that's all covered. Let's jump into my flow desk and walk through what the assets are I've already created. And then we're going to build out the rest of the workflow together. So the first thing that we're going to do is actually we're going to kind of work a little bit backwards in creating all of the moving parts that we need to make the workflow work. The first thing we need to do is obviously have a product. Then from there, we're going to create a sales page for that product. I have a sales page built out under Flowdesk Checkouts for my Simple Life Planner ClickUp template. This is a complete sales page that I have created in a previous video for my ClickUp template. The next asset that we're going to need is obviously our freebie. When I was considering this process and what this freebie might be, I obviously took a look at what my actual product is that I'm get, uh, wanting them to buy and what I could actually give that audience as a bit of a teaser without giving too much away. 
And within my ClickUp template, I have what's called a trigger list. It forms part of the to-do list template in the bundle. And it you do not need, it's not necessarily a feature within ClickUp. It's literally just a document with a bunch of prompts that you could use as a guide for brain dumping tasks and to-dos that you need to do. So what I did was actually take that trigger list from the template itself, put it into a PDF, and then I've I'm going to be using that as my opt-in. It kind of gives them a little bit of a teaser of the product without really giving away too much. Once we have our sales page created, we need to create a new segment for the freebie opt-in. To do that, we need to come into audience, come over to segments, and then to create one, we would go new segment. I've already created one here that you can see as freebie brain dump trigger list, which is just here. Once we've done that, we can go in and build the form that we need to allow people to actually opt in for that freebie. So we'll see under forms that I have already created a full page form here. The reason I opted for a full page form because it makes it really easy for me to then include that link uh, directly into my YouTube video descriptions. You could also, if you're wanting it more so to embed in blogs, you could opt for an inline form and things like that. I will leave some videos on how to do that in the description below as well. So here we are on the full page. I've just included a mock-up image in the back of what the brain dump trigger list uh, looks like. And then people can go ahead and sign up for that freebie. Once we've done that, we can come back out and it's time to build the actual workflow. So this is the fun stuff I was waiting to do with you guys. So we're going to come into workflows and select new workflow. In this instance, I'm going to opt to start from scratch, although Flowdesk does have a lot of great templates that you can use to start with. But in this instance, we're just going to start from scratch. Uh, simple life, click up template sales funnel. So the very first thing we need to do when creating our workflow is to add a trigger that's actually going to get someone into that workflow. So in this instance, ours is going to be a subscriber is added to a segment. And here we're going to select that freebie brain dump trigger list segment that we created. Then I'm going to hover over this line in between here, click plus and then add a new email. Create new email. So this very first email that we're creating is simply just to give them the freebie. That's the only thing that this email is going to do. And I am going to come down here to welcome and choose this deliver your freebie template as a starting point because it's a great, great. This is like my go-to template for all my freebies. And then I'm just going to quickly go through and customize this just a little bit. All right, so I've just gone through and customized this form, changed out some of the text. Now I'm ready to actually add the PDF trigger list to this this email. So to do that, I'm going to click on the download guide. I'm actually going to change that to say download list. And then over here on the right, I'm going to click link. And it's going to give me the option to either add it as a URL or to attach the file. I'm actually going to attach the file in this instance. So... I'll add the trigger list PDF there and you'll see that link there. That's all that I need to do for the first email. So I'm going to hit finish. Now that we're back here, I am going to quickly come over here on the right where it gives me the overview where I can actually change the subject line for the email. All right, so that's our first email done. The next email that we want to send, we want to send one day later. So to do that, I'm going to hover back over here and click on the plus and I'm going to add a time delay of one day. That just means that the next email is going to wait a full day before it actually sends in the workflow. Then I'm going to hover over here again and I'm going to add our next email and create new email. Now, these emails I'm going to be sending out, these next few that I'm going to be sending out, I don't really want to go too heavy on the graphics. So I'm actually going to come over here to my favorites where I've already created a template, which is more of a plain text template as opposed to one that has a lot of images and such. So I'm going to use that one for the next few emails. Okay, so I've just added all the text for the second email that we're going to send. The This email that we're sending is literally just giving them 
some more tips and information around brain dumping. You'll see that I've included some steps on how to actually go about completing a brain dump. So this is just going to go ahead and teach them how to actually use that freebie that we've given them. That's all that we're doing in this email. We're not talking about our digital product. We're just giving them some more tips and information. So once that's done, I'm going to go finish. All right. So the next email, again, we're going to do a delay of one day before we send the third email. And again, I'm just going to use this plain text template that I have. So what I've done in this email is I've actually taken one of the steps from how to complete a brain dump that we gave them in the last email. And I've really drilled into that a bit more. So one of the steps was to on categorizing and prioritizing your tasks. And what I've done is I've actually taken that particular step and I've drilled down into exactly how to do that in this email. And the reason I picked that one is because ClickUp is all about categorizing and prioritizing your tasks. You see how this is all coming together and we're working our way towards selling them on that digital product. So I've gone ahead and I've given them all of that information here on to how they can go about doing the categorization and the prioritization of their tasks. And then after I've given them all of that information, I'm going to introduce them to our Simple Life ClickUp template down the bottom here. And I'm going to give them some steps on how to actually purchase that with the discount code. I'm not kind of overwhelming them with information about the template. I'm just kind of giving them a quick, hey, FYI, I have this template. It could really help you with this. Here's how to buy it. And also here's a discount. That's what we're rolling with in this third email. So once we've done that, I'm going to hit finish and go back to the main workflow. Okay, going down, we are on to our fourth email now. And again, we're doing a time delay of one day. And I'm going to add another one of those plain text emails. All right, so in the fourth one, we've gone a little bit more into the benefits of the ClickUp template and really breaking down some of the features of the template bundle. I've also included an image kind of showcasing a mock-up of the template as well as a testimonial as well as how to go about actually purchasing the template and the discount code that they can use to get a discount on the template. Once we've done that, we're going to hit finish. I'm going to go back. So I want to actually add in a condition here. So I'm going to click, click plus and then I'm going to actually add a condition. So the next step after this will depend on what they do with that email. What I want the condition to be is if somebody was added to the segment for the product, which means they've purchased the product. So I'm going to come in here. So, so if the subscriber is added to the segment of a simple life ClickUp planner. So condition is, was a subscriber added to the segment? If yes, which means they've purchased, they will then complete the workflow. If the answer is no, we're going to send them this final email. So I'm going to hover over where it's no, and I'm going to click, click plus, and I'm going to add in this final email, which is just the last final hard pitch to sell the product. Because we don't want to send that to people who have already purchased the product. We only want to send it to people who haven't purchased the product. So we're going to come back in here, and we're going to open up a template again for the final email that we're going to send. So like I said, this email is literally just going to be a quick reminder of the product sale that is currently going on, the discount code and how to actually go about getting that. So I'm going to add in those links again. The last part is I'm just going to be telling them what to expect next, because obviously this workflow is done. We're finished with it. What can they expect next? And I'm just going to also add one quick last little PS at the end. Just saying, hey, don't forget about your discount code. Now that we're back here, that is the final email of our workflow. So let's just walk through this real quick now that we've finished it. Coming back up to the very top here, once someone signs up to receive the 
freebie of the brain dump trigger list. They're going to be added to the segment for that trigger list, which will then add them to this sales funnel. They will immediately get the first email of the sales funnel, which is going to be delivering them the PDF of the brain dump trigger list. Then we're going to wait one day and we're going to send them the first email, which is literally just going to be about tips and tricks relating to that brain dump trigger list. Nothing else. We're not mentioning the product, just tips and tricks. Then we're going to wait one more day and we're going to send the third email in our sales funnel. And this one is going to be drilling down even more and offering more tips and advice in relation to that brain dump trigger list, but as well as relating to the digital product. We are going to start mentioning the digital product in this one and giving them that discount code to entice them to buy that product. And then we're going to delay one more day and we're going to send them the fourth email, which is really going to start drilling into the digital product. What are the features, the benefits, what's included, all of that, as well as how to buy it and the discount code to entice them to buy. Then we've included a condition and the condition is that if the subscriber has purchased the digital product and has entered the segment relating to the digital product, they will then finish the workflow. If they have not purchased the product and not ended up in the segment relating to that digital product, we're going to send them one final hard pitch email for the product. Just saying, time's up, here's your discount, buy now. Then they will complete the workflow after that fifth hard pitch email. From there, they will move into my, my normal weekly newsletter segment. And there we have it. That is our sales funnel built and complete. We have a digital product, we have a freebie, and we have a workflow moving them from the freebie to the digital product. And then they're joining our email list and we're gonna keep nurturing those relationships every single week with our weekly newsletter. Hope you guys found this helpful in kind of getting a better look at exactly how to build out a sales funnel, even if you're just getting started in your business. Honestly, this whole process has given me so much clarity around sales funnels or marketing funnels that I'm kind of like hyped to build more for all the other digital products that I have. So I really hope that you guys found this helpful. Don't forget if you guys want to check out Flowdesk, the link is in the, in the description below. You can get a 30 day free trial and 50% off your first year's subscription. Hope you guys found this helpful and I'll see you next time. Bye.